Hello everybody, welcome to Christ Our Light Scripture and Reflection. This is Deacon Mark and Mary Beth Barter here today to share with you the scriptures of our church. Today is Monday, February 6, 2023. Today we celebrate a memorial, St. Paul Mickey and Companions. Let us pray. O God, strength of all the saints, who through the cross were pleased to call the martyrs St. Paul, Mickey, and companions to life, grant, we pray, that by their intercession we may hold with courage, even until death, to the faith that we possess. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, The earth was a formless wasteland, and darkness covered the abyss, while a mighty wind swept over the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. God saw how good the light was. God then separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. Thus Evening came and morning followed, the first day. Then God said, Let there be a dome in the middle of the waters to separate one body of water from the other. And so it happened. God made the dome, and it separated the water above the dome from the water below it. God called the dome the sky. Evening came and morning followed, the second day. Then God said, Let the water under the sky be gathered into a single basin, so that the dry land may appear. And so it happened. The water under the sky was gathered into its basin, and the dry land appeared. God called the dry land the earth, and the basin of the water he called the sea. God saw how good it was. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth vegetation, every kind of plant that bears seed, and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with its seed in it. And so it happened. The earth brought forth every kind of plant that bears seed, and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with its seed in it. God saw how good it was. Evening came and morning followed, the third day. Then God said, Let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate day from night. Let them mark the fixed times, the days and the years, and serve as luminaries in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth. And so it happened. God made the two great lights, the greater one to govern the day and the lesser one to govern the night. And he made the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. God saw how good it was. Evening came and morning followed, the fourth day. The Word of the Lord The response, May the Lord be glad in his works. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory, robed in light as with a cloak. May the Lord be glad in his works. You fix the earth upon its foundation, not to be moved forever. With the ocean, as with a garment, you covered it. Above the mountains, the waters stood. May the Lord be glad in his works. You send forth springs into the watercourses that wind among the mountains. Beside them the birds of heaven dwell. From among the branches they send forth their song. May the Lord be glad in his works. How manifold are your works, O Lord! In wisdom you have wrought them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Alleluia. May the Lord be glad in his works. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, alleluia. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. After making the crossing to the other side of the sea, Jesus and his disciples came to land at Gennesaret and tied up there. As they were leaving the boat, people immediately recognized him. They scurried about the surrounding country and began to bring in the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. Whatever villages or towns or countryside he entered, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might touch only the tassel on his cloak, and as many as touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. The following reflection is taken from Living Faith. It's entitled Good Morning and Good Night. It's written by Patricia Livingston. She begins with the scripture, Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. God saw how it was good, so God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. Thus evening came, and morning followed, the first day. God made the two great lights, great, the greater one to govern the day, and the lesser one to govern the night. It is morning here. The day is beginning, she writes. I feel awe as I read the biblical account of the first day. Where I live, through some of the windows facing east, I can see the sun rising over distant buildings. Through the windows facing the west, I sometimes see the sunset in the evening, and I always delight in seeing the moon at night. Whether catching a glimpse of the sun or the moon, let's take a moment today to feel the wonder that God has made in this form of light for us at the beginning of creation. And God still does see that it is good. Remembering what God says, we can smile when we say to someone, Good morning or good night. Let us pray. Loving God, light of my life, may I shine your love to those whom I meet this day, and may they feel your blessing through the light of my love for them. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.